of the Norbar T-Box XL. Well, there are four transducer ports, one RS-232 port, a monitor port, a USB printer port, a charging port, and on the right hand side, an on-off switch. Plug the transducer cable into the first port directly above the on-off switch, turn the T-box over and boot it up by switching it on using the rear switch. Once the T-box is started you will be taken immediately to the home screen from where most of the testing and calibration work is undertaken. You'll notice at the bottom of the T-box the first button which wakes it up from standby mode, a USB port for importing and exporting data and records, and on the right hand side a four button switch to allow the operator to switch between any of the four transducer ports on the rear of the T-box. By pressing the settings function button on the top right hand side of the home screen you'll be taken through to the main menu screen. The first function on the main menu screen is the target function that allows you to create or alter a torque target template. The second allows the operator to create or alter an existing tool template for calibration purposes. The third function allows the operator to capture the serial number and details for specific tools that are tested. The fourth function allows the user to capture the transducer details for transducers that are not automatically recognized by the software. The first function on the bottom row allows the importation of settings and data via the USB port. The second function allows the export of results and testing templates via the USB port. And the last function on the main menu screen allows for further settings in the T-Box including the date, units of measurement, serial port settings and more advanced settings to do with the angle functionality of the T-Box. To exit the main menu screen and return to the home screen, simply tap the home screen button. In order to create a target template, follow these settings. Tap the setting button, proceed through to the main menu and tap on the target setup button. Once this is activated you will see a screen where you may add a new template if it is not already there. To do this, tap on the plus button on the top right hand side. It will take you through to a simple screen where you can add in the name and description of the target that you wish to set up. In this case we've created one for the CAT 798C with a description of CAT haul truck wheel nuts at 840 foot pounds. Once done, accept. It'll take you to another screen which will ask you to set up the upper and lower acceptable variance limits as well as the direction of rotation and the number of tests you would need to do to get the required result. There are additional screens requesting details for snug torque and angle applications but these are not necessary for the CAT 798C template. Once these screens are bypassed the final target can be accepted. The screen will return to the main template screen where you can then select the CAT 79C template that you have just set up. It will then take you back to the home screen where you can begin testing. This next short video will show you the actual testing of a torque tool against an existing template in the T-Box. Engage the tool with the rundown fixture. Select the stall tool mode. Select your target, 
which in this case is the CAT 798C which was set up earlier it will return to the home screen and you can now advance the tool in a clockwise direction until the desired torque is reached if the tool stalls within the set variance it will be displayed as green you can then save the first result by pushing the save function button on the left hand side if the target torque displayed on the screen is either too high or too low and therefore outside the acceptable variance limit that result can be deleted before beginning the second test reverse the tool to unload the rundown fixture reset the display to zero Make sure the tool is now operating in a clockwise direction to begin the second test. Save the result if it is a green or an acceptable zone. Then again reverse the air tool to unload the rundown fixture, resetting the display to zero. Return to a clockwise direction to take your third reading if it is an acceptable. You may save that reading. The word complete will be shown at the top of the screen showing that you have done all three tests. And on the bottom left hand side of the screen, the test counter will return to one of three ready for the next set of results. To check the results that you have captured, simply click on the view button at the bottom of the screen. Select the last testing that was done by the date and time shown. And there are your test results showing direction of rotation, results, and whether the results were OK, low or high versus the acceptable variance that has been set. Return to the results screen and if necessary you can delete the results if they are not required. You can exit the results screen and return to the home menu to begin your next set of tests.